is a child who's no longer with us, uh, have some level of sympathy with respect to that. That child needs justice. Interim Police Commissioner Gary Tuggle said today there are witnesses to the July 5th shooting that fatally wounded seven-year-old Taylor Hayes. She was riding in the back of a car when someone fired through the vehicle's trunk. The gunman has not been identified. At the end of the day, I would think that somebody that saw that would have a level of compassion that would say, I'm willing to take on that level of risk to give that child justice. 20-year-old Malik Edison is now charged in the case facing gun violations. He allegedly was a passenger in the car at the time Taylor was shot and flagged down an officer for help. A 40 caliber gun, drugs, and his photo were allegedly found in the car's glove box. The driver of the car, Darnell Holmes, faces similar charges. Neither is accused of shooting Taylor. Charging documents say Holmes told police Edison showed up after the shooting, but the documents say video surveillance shows Malik was already present in the vehicle when the shooting occurred. Edison relatives say is the grandson of 65-year-old Pinky Ruffin. She was killed in a double shooting in April in the same neighborhood. Police will not disclose details of their investigation. Tuggle pledged to protect people who come forward. I get the issue of fear. Um, however, you know, we're not talking about something as simple as maybe a burglary or, or a robbery. We're talking about the life of a seven-year-old child that's been snuffed out. Police said today they have located that white Mercedes they were looking for. They had pictures of that circulating of that of that vehicle. They will not say if the owner of that vehicle is in any way involved. Reporting live tonight from Southwest Baltimore, I'm Jane Miller, WBAL-TV 11 News.